Hello children, I am your science man speaking. Hope you all are fine. Shall we start our today's class children? Yes. So before entering into our lesson, we can have a small fun today. Are you ready for the fun children? Yes. Here is the audio of different sounds of animals. Now you need to guess what animal it is. Are you ready children for this activity? Right. Now guess the animals. Yes, it is a cat. Hmm, it is a dog. Yes, you are right, it is a cow. Yes, it is a hen. Exactly, these are sheep. Mm, the horses. You're right, these are pigs. Exactly, the donkeys. Mm, the roosters. You are right, the ducks. Yes, it's goat. Mm, the beautiful birds. Mm, the frogs. The great king of the forest, the lion. Very good children. All the answers you guessed were very correct. Right. Now let us start our lesson. So before entering into the lesson, we can have a small recap what we have learned in previous classes. So what are the characteristics of living things we learn children? Yes. Growth. Nutrition. Respiration. Movement. Sensitivity. So what is meant by growth children? How it helps in living things? Let us discuss one by one. So growth is an important factor for the living things. Yes. So the energy we get from the food we eat. So growth happens only because of the food it eats. So you must eat only the healthy food children. Next nutrition. The process of obtaining nutrients that are necessary for growth and other life process is called as nutrition. So only with the help of nutrition in our body we can perform various activities. So children you must eat only the healthy foods, vegetables, fruits and milk. Okay. Right. Next. Next we saw about the respiration. The process of using the air that we breathe to get energy from our food is known as respiration. We already know that human being, human being we breathe through the lungs, worms breathe through their skin, fishes breathe through their gills. 
next we saw about the movement in animals so many living things move from one place to another they usually move to find food water shelter to escape from danger and to avoid extreme hot or cold conditions and we saw some examples also animals move they can run they can able to walk so birds can able to fly fishes can able to swim so these are the movements in animals next we saw about the sensitivity living things use their sense organs and respond to their surroundings the sense organs are eyes ears nose tongue and skin so we see with the help of eyes we smell with the help of nose we taste with the help of tongue we hear with the help of ears and we feel with the help of skin the same way animals also have the sense of sight touch smell taste and hearing any change in the immediate surrounding of a living thing is known as stimulus and the living thing identifies it and respond to it quickly so children now we can go for the next an animal uses up the food it eats and gets the energy to perform various life processes so we already know that only with the help of food the animals are able to perform various life processes and after eating the food its body produces different types of waste exactly so after consuming the energy the body will be producing waste the waste are harmful to the body and must be removed yes these waste are harmful to the body and must be removed immediately right so next we are going to see about the life process of excretion now here is an activity observe the image and complete the speech bubble so what you can see in this picture children a mother is standing in the mall and a boy is showing a hand towards some place okay let me see what happens so what is uh, what the boy is asking now exactly he want to go for the washroom so what the boy will be telling i want to go to the toilet right so now here is an another picture a crow is making dirty on the man so what do you think the man is saying yes oh no a crow has dirtied me exactly so here waste produced in the body is moved out through a process known as excretion children repeat after me waste produced in the body is moved out through a process known as excretion next excess water and the harmful waste produced in our body or excreted as sweat and urine so these these are the one of the waste removed in our body sweat and the urine so by seeing this picture you can easily able to understand the sweat and urine also the harmful waste produced by in our body so growth nutrition respiration sensitivity and excretion or life processes that help living things to stay alive and be healthy yes children now we have another life process that what we are going to discuss now an important characteristics that distinguish living thing from non living thing is the ability to produce the young ones of their own kind so one more important difference between the living and non living is a living thing can able to produce their young ones so now we are going to see about the life process of reproduction the process by which animals reproduce young ones of their own kind is called as reproduction children repeat after me the process by which animals produce young ones of their own kind is called reproduction so animals reproduce either by laying eggs 
or by giving birth to the young ones. For example, a hen lays eggs and that hatches into chickens. A cow gives birth to the calf. Now, you can have a video here. This video, you can clearly understand about the life process of reproduction. Today, we are learning about animals and their young ones. Let's get started. Dog, puppy. Dog's young one is puppy. Elephant, calf. Elephant's young one is calf. Cat, kitten. Cat's young one is kitten. Frog, tadpole. Frog's young one is tadpole. Hen, chicken. Hen's young one is chicken. Rabbit, bunny. Rabbit's young one is bunny. Cow, calf. Cow's young one is calf. Wolf, calf. Wolf's young one is sheep. Lamb, sheep's young one is lamb. Pig, piglet. Pig's young one is piglet. Duck, duckling. Duck's young one is duckling. Goat, kid. Goat's young one is kid. Giraffe, calf. Giraffe's young one is calf. Monkey, infant. Monkey's young one is infant. Tiger. Cub. Tiger sang one is cub. Bear. Cub. Bear sang one is cub. Kangaroo. Joy. Kangaroo sang one is joy. Hope you enjoyed this video, children. So, here in this video, you might have learned many new words about the animals and their young ones you can make a note of these animals and their young ones so now here is a activity so before going to the activity the seven life process that we have learned help us distinguish living things from a non-living thing so we saw the uh, life process isn't it growth nutrition respiration movement sensitivity excretion and reproduction all these seven life process are the different different from the living things from non-living things so here is an activity which of the two students had marked the tree as a living thing so children in the beginning of the lesson we saw a pep, act, pep activity do you remember it so in that mrs green is a science teacher she took the students to the park so in that ravi and susan has prepared an observation sheet isn't it from that this question is asked which of the two students has marked the tree as living thing who has marked children exactly it's susan Next, do you think this person was right? Yes, exactly. It is right. Why do you think so? Why you are saying Susan is Susan's answer is correct? Yes, because the tree shows the characteristics of living things. It grows from a seed into a big tree. A tree is a type of plant. All plants are living things. Children, repeat after me. A tree is a type of plant. All plants are living things. So, all plants are living things. Right. Now, we can check whether plants are living things or non-living non things with the processes. We learned the seven life processes, isn't it? With the help of that, we can check whether plants are living or non-living. So, here is a, a, a images given. So, first we can observe the image. In image A, you can see a plant. In image B, the same plant after a few weeks, it has grown. Okay, now let us discuss the questions given. Describe what happened to the plant in image A 
after a few weeks in image b now you tell me children what happened to the plant yes of course your answer is correct the plant has grown bigger and started flowering and bearing fruits next what is the next question given which life processes do you think occurred in the plant so the plant has grown up isn't it children so from this you can can you tell me what life process has happened yes the life processes of growth and reproduction have occurred in the plant superb now we can go for another activity another page right here is two images given image a and image b in image a you can see a plant near the window in image b you can see the same plant growing towards okay towards the window let me see what happens why do you think the plant in image a has grown towards the window after a few weeks why it is growing children yes we already know that plants need air water and sunlight to grow exactly the plants has grown towards the window to get more sunlight only it needs the sunlight so it is growing towards the window so which life processes do you think occurred in the plant can you tell me what is the life process occurred yes yes you are right life processes of sensitivity or movement or growth have occurred in the plant exactly because the plant senses the sun so it moves towards the window the plant is growing so it is moving towards the window you are right exactly now here is another picture in image a you can see a man is eating a mango in image b a plant is grown okay let me see what is the what what we, what it is given here describe what has happened to the seed in image a after a few months in image b what happens so after a few months the seed has grown into a plant the man has thrown the seed here after few months the seed has become a small plant so which life process do you think occurred here exactly your answer is correct life process of nutrition growth and reproduction have occurred here so the the seed it gets the soil sunlight and water so the seed started to grow and it it reproduced yes exactly now we can so in tomorrow's class what we are going to see is life process in plants how the growth reproduction nutrition movement sensitivity everything how it happens in the plant that what we are going to see in tomorrow's class children we came to the last part of the session so here is a word wall given as i told before you must learn these words repeatedly so you can make a note of these words so shall we start now repeat after me children produced waste body excrete harmful sweat urine young ones lay eggs hatch stem branches root leaves buds flowers fruits seeds plants trees very good children have a repeated practice of these words now we came to the interesting thing the amazing facts so daily as i told before we are going to update an amazing facts so what is the question today which is the fastest growing plant and find interesting details about it superb question so when you find the answer for this question really you'll be enjoying it so which is the fastest growing plant 
and you need to find some interesting details about it so i am waiting for your answer children so find the answer and read get ready for tomorrow's class thank you have a nice day children